In Darktable, there's a color and exposure checking tool that draws a white border around your image. Why would you want to use this? But first, some SEO stuff. What is light? Just joking. Well, after editing for a long time with the gray background, you might not realize how bright or dark your image is. That's why this white border is useful. By seeing pure white, you can truly see your image brightness and how close your whites are to pure white. It's especially helpful if you have problems getting your tones as bright as they should be. To activate it, you can click on the light bulb in the bottom panel or press Ctrl B or Command B by default for Max. Unfortunately, you can see that by default the white border is quite large, squishing your image into nothingness. But there's a way to change it. It's a bit complex and unfortunately it cannot be done within Darktable. Instead, you will have to modify Darktable's configuration file, which will require a PhD in computer science. But don't worry, I'm going to simplify it for you peasants. The Darktable configuration file is located somewhere in your home directory. The file you need to modify is called Darktable RC. Where this file is depends on your operating system. For Mac OS, it's in .config slash Darktable. For Linux, it's also often in the same place, .config slash Darktable, but it can be in a slightly different location if you're using a flat pack or some other mechanism to install Darktable that is not the standard one. If you can't find it on Linux, run this command in the terminal and it will tell you where it is. Finally, for Windows, the file is located in your app data directory. Now, let's get to fixing Darktable. Before you do so, make sure to close Darktable. Now open the file and find the lines that say ISO 12464 in them. The one that has border in it controls the distance from the border. I think 4 is too large, so after countless hours of experimentation, I found that 1.5 is the most ideal number for every person. If you think otherwise, you're wrong. Just joking. Change it to anything you like, I don't care. Now, let's see the results. Open Darktable back up, press Ctrl B, and you should see a much more sane white border. As a final tip, consider adding the tilde key as a shortcut to activating this useful tool. It's much easier than Ctrl B. Also, if you want to learn the basics of Darktable, consider taking our course for beginners linked in the comments below. I hope this tip helps you become a better editor, but if it does not, take up watercolor.